Ándeles lindas y patrióticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me hablen. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain de Santa? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. The Santa Mariconcito! Me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita, ¿dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. These two patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, ah, the coronel. Fantastic. I love patriots. Ah, hey, Sergeant Marston, you here to fight the war? And we shall make a patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? <laughs> His Excellency, el Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you serve Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. <laughs> okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. <laughs> Hurry! We must go! Andale, a chupa rosa. So it looks like it is me and you again, gringo. And there was me, thinking my dance card was full. What do you mean? Just that it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparrosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain, but I think you're gonna need a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparrosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Diez Coronas. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Why didn't DeSanta come with us? Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important business, like mailing letters and sweeping floors and flirting with barmen. He fought with Are you, you defending Torquemada. that pathetic little errand boy? I did not see him fight. Without me, we would have lost the battle. He knows less than nothing on how to lead men. Yet he's the colonel's second in command. That is a good job. You are a funny man, gringo. De Santa licks the colonel's boots and plays with his waiter friend. That is all. I am again this brazo derecho, his right arm. I am one of the few men he respects. Is that right? You and him have something special, do you? The colonel needs a maid, a woman he cannot fuck. De Santa is that woman. The battle at Torquemada was hard, but the Soro de Azul, now that was some fun. Am I right, gringo? Fun? Burning people's homes, killing innocent people. That's your idea of fun? When a woman picks up a rifle, and a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Those are the rules of war. They ain't my rules. So you would allow a woman to shoot you? That makes you an idiot, not a gentleman. Does it seem... Why it to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Rebeldes! Matenlos! Oh, 
Santa had praised my actions in Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabron hit. Agua! Cuidado! More of them! They are above us! Schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. You shoot well, Gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? What do you mean? Come, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. We are close to Chuparosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I've given you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and, of course, you come. Money and the chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? I've done everything you've asked of me. If Belinde doesn't give me a Escuela and Williamson after this, I think it's best I go ask the rebels directly. Here we are at last. Soldados, abordamos el tren. I do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. New recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Can't be that hard. Just point and pull the trigger. Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? 
We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself.
I think that's all of them. We do not have far to go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I can promise you in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Until I find Escuela, he's more used to me alive. <laughs> Lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. Senor Marston! Senor Marston! Thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos! Rapido antes, uh, nos attack another base. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. 